Hello beautiful world, uh, this is Faris al Hajri, PhD, AM, here presently in my home country, Oman, my home here. This topic covers the global protocols for humans therapies. Why? Why we emphasize this topic? A couple of years back, uh, when I was here in my country and before going to United States, I met a very high prominent person in the key decision makers in the health department, Ministry of Health, the highest rank, personnel. And uh, we explained to him about the protocol of the aquapathy and our initiative, our vision, and why we approach the health ministry, Ministry of Health, and what is our goal. And that moment he said, Ferris, stay here. We have everything. We have the hospitals, prominent hospitals. We have patients. We have doctors, physicians, and we have uh, labs, laboratories. So I have uh, issued my instruction to the next of my rank to be leading the team of researchers who will conduct, uh, will take your protocol and will implement it to in human subjects to patients in the hospital and they will conduct a clinical trial to see medical checkup to see what is going on with the therapeutic effects and what are the results and the moment we met the person next of his rank he said Ferris we are here just to provide the services we are service provide as a government health providing services you need to bring approval from World Health Organization, WHO. From there we will accept your protocol. So yeah, we understood. So when we move back again, we travel to the United States because that's where my office is there, located in Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center, the Hakwa Wellness. As we're working to strategies, conducting clinical trials, to substantiate the effectiveness of aqua revitalized therapy, aquapathy or aquapathic medicine. Strategy number two is to set a project related to wellness industries, including an organization, non-profit, so that more people get benefit to understand of this campaign, this simple naturopathic medicine can do a lot and could be the mysteries, hidden mysteries, the key for the hidden mysteries of so much people need to more to understand as we always do more of our video and we upload in our YouTube channel. So I came to understand that there are protocols need to be abide and all these many countries, about 186 countries they fall under the umbrella of the United Nations. And the WHO, the World Health Organization, which is under the umbrella of the United Nations, those 186 countries, they have signed the protocol to follow the protocol, the therapeutic protocol of using medication, drugs, all these things, and, uh, uh, and to respond to pandemics like uh, at this present time, the COVID-19 pandemic, and so on. And to do all this uh, guidance to protect society, to protect people from this getting this pandemic out of control and many people will be falling victim. So I came to understand that, that it's not just easy just to say yes, use this protocol and get implemented, even though I have collected more than 500 
anecdotal evidence, but still, this is just the beginning. That's just a preliminary step. But there are many steps to be followed, and this is the reason we wanted to, to highlight this topic, because we have been into this field, aquapathy, for the last 14 years. Previously, we used to call it hot water therapy. In the later one, we started to call it aqua therapy. But later on, when we registered our, uh, our brand in USPTO, United States Patent and Trademark Office, so we registered with a logo as Hakwap Revitalize. Because why revitalize? Is that it, a human being doesn't need to be treated. Human being need to be revitalized, energized. Because the body itself by itself, treat itself by itself, it has its own, according to the tenet of osteopathy, osteopathic medicine, based upon the American Osteopathic Association, is that the body, based on the tenet of osteopathy, part of this tenet is that the body, the human body, has its own innate ability to self-healing, self-protection, self-regulation, self-maintenance. So what happened is that we believe that uh, with the infiltration supplying to the human body the fuels it deserves, it relies the natural fuels, then the body function at its maximum capacity towards these tenets. That's the reason we came to understand that we need to follow this protocol. We have a vision. If you need to climb the highest mountain, the highest mountain, which is Mount Everest. But the moment you say, I'm gonna climb that mountain, it's your soul has already reached the peak of the mountain. You already have that belief that I'm going there and I'll be there, irrespective of the challenge and difficulties to climb this highest mountain of life. I mean, how highest mountain uh, on, on, the, uh, on the Earth planet, the Mount Everest. But the fact is, because of that determination, your soul goes ahead and move and reach the peak of the mountain. Then later on, it's your body that follows. So this is just a metaphor to explain that. It's the willpower that drives the person, that irrespective of how long it takes, how difficult, how tough the challenge, but the soul is already there. It's just the body follow. This is very important also to you in your life. Everything you need to do, you need to do that. Keep your soul there and then say, I'm going there. I'm climbing the endless mountains of life. I'm going to achieve success to one success to the next. So I came to understand that we need to follow. We need to abide with these protocols that have been signed with the entire membership of 186 countries, including Oman, including United States, including UK, United Kingdom, including many countries, Europe, most of the all, I mean, all the European countries, Australia. I mean, 186 countries they have signed the protocol under the United Nations protocol to abide with the global regulations, which is part of the globalization, which is good. There's nothing wrong. So since the world has become a, just a small village, it's like globalization has been globalized because there's too much uh, interconnection between countries and on mutual interests and so on in all the fields, including fields in the health care system. So we understand that any, any drug or any, any protocol, any therapeutic modalities, whether it's a drug, human fabricated, or it is a natural, natural, it has to go through those protocols. And that's the reason the drug industry, they made amazing achievement for the reason, the reason is that they spent, a pharmaceutical company spent up to one billion dollar and has to wait for 15 years to go through all this protocol of the clinical trials starting from here to move to the next to the next and to the next that is and then so we understood that we need to follow the protocol we need to start the clinical trials which luckily we can say oh good news we managed to have four clinical trials conducted in rats in a university in Algeria and very positive results very effective the aqua revitalize therapy aquapathy aquapathic medicine 
So we understand that by going through the protocol, get this result, which we had already four clinical trials conducted in rats with good results. Moving to the next protocol is to have the opportunity to get the clinical trial conducted to in human subjects. That's another challenge. Nothing comes easy, but that's a beauty of life. Just to move one step to another, to the next step. From there, since we already collected more than 500 anecdotal evidence in humans, and for the reason we went one step ahead before we, we think of anything, from day one since 2007, the moment I, was, I started to implement this uh, therapy, natural therapy to my body, and I was with chronic ailments for, so, and then I was diagnosed with a full checkup that I'm completely asymptomatic after two years of using this protocol. So from there, that was the aha moment to me, and moving to the next step. So I started to share this news to others somewhere, somehow, out of 10 people I meet, out of 100 people I meet, up to somewhere, somehow, there's somebody who say, yes, I believe in you, and I believe in this protocol, I'm gonna use, and then later on the person come to me and say, Ferris, you have changed my life. My physician checked me, I went for a checkup, and I found my blood sugars back to normal. I found my blood pressures back to normal. I've, I'm in so, and so on, followed by more than 500. And almost every single week, if not two to three times, at least once in a week, we keep receiving at least one anecdotal evidence somewhere, somehow. And we say it, let's move it to human subjects on a personal relationship, collecting the anecdotal evidence for one reason. Taking the risk? No. For the reason it's just simple liquid, natural, which is recommended to be consumed. Everybody is recommended to drink specific amount of water per day. So what's wrong with the hot water at that specific temperature, with that specific protocol, methodology, and we came up with the more modalities. So the gulping methods, the therapeutic methods of aqua gulping is just one modality, but we have five for internal use. Among that is the therapeutic methods of aqua gulping, drinking our water with a specific temperature, specific program that you need to, and everything has more to explain to that. So that's just one, but then follow by other protocols, other modalities, and you have for external use, nine modalities. And we keep on discovering new one, but we do not reveal, we do not expose the information unless we register our copyright and mostly since we started to register with the United States uh, uh, Patent and Trademark Office, which is uh, registered in the Library of Congress, that for us, it's a good milestone achievement. So as we keep on collecting the anecdotal evidence, so we move to experimentation in rats. I mean, that we didn't do it, that's a university did, that was conducted by students who are doing the master's thesis in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, and the results were amazing. And was all this under the supervision of uh, Dr. Zariza. She is a professor, Zariza. She is teaching students in that university, at that university for master's degree and PhD. And she is uh, having her PhD and with experience of teaching for 23 years, and more than 23 years. And she's the director of research of that university. So we, that's a good news to collect these four clinical trials. So we thank Professor Zariza for doing this campaign, for doing this. And there's a history of how we, can, we came to collaborate together. So moving to the next step of trying to conduct clinical trials in human subjects, that's another step. The moment we have the preliminary result, then moving to the next detailed clinical trials. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna be my hakwa. Detailed clinical trials in human subjects. That will be another milestone achievement if we get positive results. Then that 
we try to do it in the United States of America because of the strong, uh, well-organized system. And th from there, we can move to the higher step, trying to get gather more clinical trials and submit that. Not we don't do that. The academy or the research, the clinical, the the the, the body, of the academy, uh, the college or the university that has conducted the clinical trials will submit it to the of course the federal states and from there uh, which is usually NIH National Institute of Health this I believe that's a protocol and from there NIH may recognize it and become a global recognition and of course if United States has recognized it officially by NIH National Institute of Health then that can move to the highest step United, a World Health Organization will recognize and that will spread all over the world and physicians will start to recommend patients to not just drink water, hydrate, but they will start to engage their patients to quit because there's a huge difference between hydrate and quit. You will never find in a dictionary the word quit because we are the founder of aquapathy, aqua revitalize, aquapathic medicine. We are the founder. So it's not yet been spread because as I told you, we need to go through the protocol and this is what we're doing. So thank you so much and we are optimistic and we need your support. Please, if you believe what you're doing, you implement it, you found some benefit, come up with the anecdotal evidence. Come up with your, what do you need to say from your part? Number one. Number two, like the video. Number three, subscribe if you did not subscribe to our channel. Number four, spread to your connections because from that, we can make a better world. Just remember, it's purely natural. It's just water at that specific temperature that specific methodology and for different modalities but the essential is for gulping drinking method that's more essential because the human body has more than 100 trillion microbiomes in, in, the, in the you know in our in our stomach you can imagine the number of microbiomes in our body are the same number of the cells human cells so human cells is made up of 100 trillion cells so we have these microbiomes, and some of them are good, some of them are disease-causing. They are harmful to our body. So just remember, how to revitalize, impact the world, and our vision is to impact every human being on Earth, that it's possible to live a healthy life without fearing of any, any, any worries of pandemic or um, diseases and so on. Live a comprehensive, healthy lifestyle physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual in all aspects. Thank you so much. Beautiful world and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.